Hey y'all, it's me, Kofukune. Long time no see. I've been places. I've been, I've d been doing things. I have several things that I could have done and I haven't done. So you have this for now. I have another speed paint that I did. It's kind of like, it's like halfway through. I, I have to like go to the... <coughs> oh shit. I have to go through all that pressure of, you know, like, rendering it, and then, like, editing it again, and then, like, rendering it again, because, like, you, like, there's only so much you can go back on, like, Vegas and shit, like, you can't, there's only so much you can speed up a video by, so you have to, like, speed up the video, and then you have to render it, and that takes, like, three hours, it, well, it took three hours, three or four, and then I had to fucking I had to take that shit back I had to edit it I had to put music and that was a lot of work and I have it all done but I just haven't rendered it yet so expect that also it's been it's kind of shit but that's not what we're talking about today right we're gonna be talking about my past now I know a lot of you a lot of you really really wonder about me because I don't I'm not I'm very secretive you don't know who I am. I All you know is I'm a goofy voice. And I'm somewhere in the world. So that's... And I'm a female. And I'm pretty cool. That's all you know. So... I'm gonna let you know some more about me. This is... This is Childhood Stories with Kofukune. Starring me, Kofukune. And I hope you guys do, do enjoy. Because... This is something new and experimental. Also, I ignore that little thing at the right side. I was watching Nightmind because I'm a fucking big fag for Nightmind. Shout out to, to Nick Nocturne X. I love you. I'd suck your dick. Anyhow. Any, anyhow. I, I'd be out here. And when I was a kid, I was very uh, strange. One of the things I liked to do as a kid was run away and hide from people. Now, I don't know what led me to do these these crimes, but there are several instances I can remember, or at least my family members have told me, where I ran away like a little bitch because I was just bored and I wanted to run away. The first time, I think the most serious time I ever did that, was when I was younger, probably around five or four years old, and we went to the beach. And you know me, I, I, I don't like staying in one place for long. At least I didn't when I was a kid. And I looked down that beach, that shore, it was beautiful. And I thought to myself, as a little youngin', I thought to myself, hey, I could fucking run down there and nobody would, nobody would notice. And I was like, mm? 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 So I fucking booked it as far as my little legs could carry me. And my, <laughs> my grandparents, who aren't very sturdy legged, especially my grandfather, who was bow legged, they were <laughs> kind of like waddling after me <laughs> down the beach aisle. And I remember it being really funny. I don't remember getting in trouble. But I might have. Because I think they're more surprised that I just booked it. And I fucking just dropped everything. And I started running down the beach. To, to newer and brighter pastures. Another time I remember. I can recollect. Was when my mom and her cousin took me to a shoe store. And now it wasn't just me. It was my other cousins. And my sister. And we went to the shoe store. <laughs> He went to the shoe store, and, uh, I hid. There was, like, these big tablecloths, right? And they're white, so they, like, draped all the way down to the floor. And you, nobody would be able to, able to see if you crawled underneath it. And <laughs> no one was able to know. So, long story short... I, I crawled under there. I think I took a nap. I think... I, I, I remember finding it funny, but I think I took a nap. 
I think I took a nap. And, uh, they had a, they were fucking panicking for like 30 minutes trying to find me until they looked on the security tape and they saw I crawled underneath the table and I hid there. And my mom was so very angry at me. But I, I don't think I found it funny at that point because she's, she's like yelling. But still, it was funny prank. Haha, <laughs> make your mom think you're abducted. Funny prank. Haha, <laughs> laugh, laugh. L lol. LMAO. And when I was younger, I just used to do kind of weird shit like that. Like, I would kind of just hide in places or go to sleep in a strange place. I remember there's this other time when I was younger, and I fell asleep in a closet. Now, the closet wasn't very spacious. It's a very small closet. I, It's right down the hallway from me, and I was a small kid, so I used to, like, fit in small places. I used to, like, do that for fun, because I, I used to just, like, crawling and exploring places, you know. And I fell asleep in there, and nobody could find me. I was like a, I was like one of those cats that you get, and then you fucking lose track of, like, in the first few days you got them. Like, I, I just hid. I hid very, I... I ran, I ran so far. Another time was at my grandmother's house, and we went, and there are these tables, right? <laughs> and, like, I, the seats were pulled in, and they're a perfect little spot for my little, like, five-year-old body to fit in. So I, I crawled in that little bed that I made. I grabbed a pillow, I grabbed a blanket, and I hid, or at least I fell asleep. I don't think I did it with the express intention to hide. I just did it because I was sleepy, and it was right there, and I had a blanket, and I hid, and I slept, like, underneath the table on two chairs, like, put together side by side. And that should show you kind of the extent of how much I was... A, a shit when I was younger. I'm still a bit of a shit, but uh, uh, I've learned my lessons. I don't go running around. I don't hide. I don't run away anymore. You know, like, I I stay in one place. I'm a very... I, I don't cause a lot of trouble because I'm a very neutral kid. And as a neutral kid, I, I uh, you know... I did disturb class a lot. That was one thing. I fucking... I used to disturb class all the time. And it used to suck because I really wanted to be... I was like one of those kids that really wanted to be a good kid and tried their best. But it never really quite worked out. So I ended up being like a problematic kid. And I stopped just like caring after a while. And, that, and that's sort of sad. But, you know, I've learned how to chill. This, uh, this channel would make you believe I don't know how to chill. But I know how to chill most of the time. You want to know the how I, uh, coped with not being a very good kid, though. Uh. So. Oh my god. No, none of you will ever find it. Which I'm so glad none of you will ever find it. But I used to make... I, I was a very big Sonic kid. I absolutely loved Sonic. And I would watch AMVs and go on DeviantArt. And do nothing but, but like, talk about Sonic and how much I loved it. I was a big, big Sonic kid. I was so gross. I actually have another story related to that, but that that's not for public. Because it's very, very embarrassing. <laughs> but that's how I used to deal with it. And I remember 2013-wise, I had this whole channel... No one will ever fucking find it, but I had a channel with my friend, and my ex-friend of mine, we don't talk anymore, a friend of mine, we used to make Sonic videos, <laughs> and it would, they heavily, they were very, very heavily, uh, they heavily inspired a lot of the content on this channel, especially my, my more, like, coffee tan sort of things, so... You know, that, that's that's kind of what was going on then. I don't know if y'all can relate, but some of my best times as a kid were go, was going on 2008-2007 YouTube and just exploring that shitty era. Because it was really amazing 
how all of that kind of just happened in such a short amount of time. And it kind of exploded. Like, I was there for every step of YouTube, which, like, we, we kind of grew up side by side. So I consider YouTube, like, my brother. Like, my little brother who who demonetizes my videos because they, they're a lovable rap scallion. And that's all I'll be talking about for today. I will be doing a segment where I will give you my advice. So give me questions in the comments. I'll give you my, my, hard, my hard advice. And I will... Luckily, with how actually really fun it was to make this video, I will be posting more of these. So I'll see you soon. Goodbye. I, lo I love you. Goodbye. Bye.